In this episode, we're going to test the performance of the app Extreme. We're going to do this by first navigating some web pages, playing some video content, and stress testing the CPU and the GPU. To test the browsing performance of the app Extreme, we are going to take a look at some web pages with Microsoft Edge. While this is happening, the task manager will show how much load there is on the CPU and GPU. To start, let's visit UP's website at www.up-board.org. There is no lag or tearing when scrolling, even when multiple pages are open. And the CPU usage remains low at all times, while the GPU does most of the work. To test the video playback performance, we start by doing some video playback in the browser and later offline with VLC. With the HD video playing in the background, we can see that the CPU usage remains very low, while the GPU does most of the work. Now let's try some offline 4K video playback. VLC shows us that this is indeed a 4K video at 30 frames per second. And again, the GPU is doing all the work, leaving the CPU usage at around 15%. We see that the Epic Stream can easily handle large resolution video playback. Now it's time to test the CPU. To push it to the limit, we are going to use Burning Test. The test is underway, and immediately the CPU usage and temperature go up. There is a temperature spike in the beginning of the test, but the active heatsink quickly brings it down from 90 to 78 degrees. After 10 minutes, the test is stopped and the result is 3.4 trillion operations per cycle and a stable temperature. The number of operations can be used to compare this CPU to others on Burning Test CPU Mark page. Comparing the App Extreme with the previous model, we can see that it is 3 times more powerful than the App Squared. The last part to be tested is the GPU, and to do this, we are using UniEngine Heaven Benchmark. Since the system's RAM memory is shared with the GPU, the results of this test can also give us some insight on the performance of the DDR4 memory. This is a board designed for robotics, retail, AI and not for game development. Therefore, the test was performed on low quality using DirectX 11 and no tessellation. With these settings, the App Extreme was able to achieve an average of 25 FPS with a peak of 46 FPS. This is enough to provide a fluid viewing experience, offering developers the opportunity to create exciting graphics to match their applications. So, as we can see from the results of the tests, the App Extreme represents an evolution from all the previous upboards. It can easily handle the processing of large amounts of data, web surfing and even gaming. So, it is truly an all-in-one computer.